Brethren, and I know God is giving me amazing understanding, but I want you to see something, and it's mind-blowing. The implications of what I'm going to show you now are just, are they're so expansive. I know I speak on His authority. Frankly, I can show you in crystal clear fashion, this is where I wish I had more time, that Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Peter, Paul, James, Jude, Jesus, and even John the Baptist, John the Baptist spoke explicitly of this prophecy. I'm 100% sure. I know exactly, jot and tittle, exactly how God is going to do this. He said things in such explicit detail, I've taken it by half a dozen ministers and none of them can see even the slightest chink in the description. I know the order of events, I know exactly what happens when, to whom, and why. All of the how God is going to do this. Since we have wonderful teams going over, helping uh, tremendously, spend a lot of hours snipping out the stuff that is wrong so we don't expose the, to uh, kind of the, uh, the process. I think one sermon we, we snipped uh, 75%. The part we left is good afternoon, brethren, and then and then at the end we left have a nice evening. Everything else we just snipped out, uh, but not quite. We saw so many, so much of the sermons wrong. We just got rid of the tape. Theories from God, uh, who is who is guiding? I'm not guiding. False leaders are always known by the false teachings they bring, which they invariably first bring privately. That is, until their victims have been conditioned to believe something not recognized as new. By then, it is often too late to recover. The key is to stay alert and act before it is too late. Including anybody who says he thinks he sees something, People stand up and spout all kinds of things, and the problem is, once again, a second wave of many are deceived. Not short, the 6,000 years appears to end in 2020, so to be cut short one year, the very latest we could hear the 1335 is about five years out, a hair less. It would be February 3rd, 2016. Passover is uniquely called the Lord's Feast. And I thought I'd throw some interesting things out to you that show why God's people are unified at Passover. And it will happen on the last day of unleavened bread, when God sends his armies, destroys the murders, and burns the city. There is a group of men in that generation upon whom would come all the righteous blood back to Abel and Zechariah. Three men alive today who will probably die very soon. When you realize God is not going to execute these three men on the same day, which we concluded about two and a half years ago he was and we were wrong. 